Hello everybody and welcome back to Hoff Bergman. So today we're going to be a step closer to baking bread, but of course we have to harvest the rye first of all and take it over to the mill so it can be turned into rye flour. So thank you to everybody who said that these can go on to... No, oh, crikey, blimey, that was going to go... Uh, that was supposed to go quite well. Let's just try that again. You know you watch my videos for the cabaret. So yes, thank you to the people who said that uh, these can go on the shelf here. There we go, that's better. I think we've probably lost some. Possibly, I'm not too sure. But we have enough anyway, that's fine. Uh, and the uh, the wood chips here, we already have some in the fire. We may require more, I'm not too sure. But for now, the focus is going to be on harvesting the rye because the first field is ready. The second field, I'm hoping, is gonna be ready tomorrow. Uh, I can't say for sure, but we're only actually gonna be making uh, flour out of the first field anyway, so the other field is just going to be sold. Just going to sell it as grain. Now, this is not the biggest combine ever, and actually I'm surprised that we're still using it since we have £313,000. So maybe I'd be better off selling it, and then for this short period of harvesting, I should just rent a much bigger machine. Because that's going to take a while. Yes, I think I will do. So what can we go for instead? Let's just see here. Just get that going. Uh, right, so harvesters. Yes, the Takano would seem like a suitable machine to use. Very nice machine. Uh, so let's just get that. And I think we do need a header trailer, actually, because, yeah, it's not going to be one of those headers which turns into a trailer. A transformer. Uh, it's going to be the 770 header. There we go. Brilliant. And yeah, we'll just... I could leave it going and work it, but I don't think I will do. I'll just get the traction trailer alongside, we'll empty it, and then we'll get that sold. And we are going to make some money, because yeah, that is our own combine harvester. Bring some money in. I'll just take it to the store at the same time as picking up the uh, new rented one. But I will, of course, stop the combine, otherwise it's going to keep going. How did that stop sign get there? It's weird. I must have hit it. <laughs> it's amazing how I do things without even noticing. Slightly worrying. Good job I don't do that in real life. There's another sign I hit. Wow, that's spinning well. Oh, that was going for ages before I started the recording. <laughs> I was not expecting it to keep going so well. We have a lot of spinning signs today bit of a circus act. Right, so here we are, just approaching the store. Yes, with this the harvest won't take too long. I can do it myself, I don't have to use a worker, and also we can get the grain taken to the mill as soon as possible. So yeah, we need to pop this inside. It's going to be nice to use the Takano again. There we go. Hopefully everything there is within the trigger. Oh, look at that, £85,655 and £27,408. Lovely. The bank account is now at 406 Thanks to doing all the silphy, we have made a substantial amount of money. Not to mention we still have loads of digestate in storage. Uh, not that it's going to be used, but if we were continuing the series for ages, then yeah, it would be used, it'd be free fertiliser. Certainly worth doing. But yeah, it definitely took a very long time. Uh, I wouldn't do it again for, for a video because it just takes forever. It takes so many episodes just to get it shifted. So the header is automatically teleported to the correct place on the header trailer. There we go. And we'll make our way over to the field. Put some beacons on. There we go, very nice. We're going to start on this side. For no particular reason, just because that's where I am. Get it started up. Uh, it's going to be a high yielding crop. A very high yielding crop. Uh, it's fully fertilised. It has been ploughed, I think. It's obviously uh, running precision farming, so... Yeah. It, it's just very good. P 
pH will have been correct. Yeah, good pH, good nitrogen, uh, good yield because of this. So yeah, just a really good field in general. We're going to have to do some baling. But the priority is to get the rye taken to the mill so we can get it turned into flour. Okay, right. I'm going to time lapse this, but probably not the whole field. Okay, so we're just going to get to somewhere up here when the tank is full, and then we're going to go and take that first full trailer load, ready to go. I can't wait for FS22 to come out, uh, not only because of the obvious reasons, but also because I'll have a nice empty mods folder, and the reason why that's good is because although I have tons of fantastic mods, my mods folder is way too full, and <laughs> yeah, um, having a fresh start would be nice. Can't wait to get mods again though in 22. It's just I can't I can't thin out my 19 folder because I just don't know what I'm using and what I'm not using because the different zip files have different names in some cases to the actual name in the uh, on the mod list in game. So we're off to the grain mill. We have to go to a specific place to get the flour produced. I'm hoping they're going to accept it in bulk. But if not, we'll have to go and bag it up. But there's no harm in trying, because it's just so much easier to do it in bulk. So the oil mill is up there. We don't need the oil mill. We need to have the grain mill, which is just here. And I believe it is the place on the left as we go in. They do have what looks to be a hopper. So you would hope that that is going to be accepting rye from a trailer. But all I can do is try it. Oh, that's promising. Very promising. And then I guess the next question is how much do we actually need? Let's just tip that to begin with. Make sure it's actually uh, registering. It is good. So, yeah, receiving rye, and we're going to receive in uh, return flour. And it's going to be in bags, I believe. I think it's going to be just over here. So, we're going to need the van. We do have a van. And I'm guessing this is just going to take time because. Yeah, it's just the way it is. So, um, yeah, I think I will just fill it to the top. It's already 72% full. That'll be enough, and then the rest of it can just be sold. Uh, in fact, I think we can sell it here. So, if I just make sure I've got the correct trigger, I would say it's going to be the one just over here. We still have almost half a trailer. Whoop, there we go. Okay, looking promising. Yep, we're getting money. Good. Of course, in the future, we'll always go to the best place. So this place might not be offering the best price. It's just as we were here. 
with half a trail load it makes sense. Uh, so I'm going to put the time to times 15. I don't know how fast this is going to be. Actually, I'll just do a quick test. Ah, oh, it's pretty fast. Good. Right, so yeah, times 15 to times 5 is going to be perfect. And yeah, it looks like there's only space for 8 bags anyway, so we do need to get the van over here. I've seen a few comments left about me not using the van. I've never really felt the need to use it, but on this occasion we actually do need it. It's always worth using the uh, appropriate vehicle or machine. The gator has been sufficient, but I think probably on this occasion, yeah, the van is just going to be easier, faster, and um, it's debatable, but I would say it probably does just about have a bigger capacity. Obviously the Gator on its own isn't, but with the trailer it is. The Gator and the trailer definitely adds up the load space. So yeah, whilst that is happening, I'm just going to go back over to the farm, empty the combine, get the harvest finished off, and then we'll be in the bakery baking bread. I look forward to it. Okay, so we have managed to get another full load. It is an incredible field, this. It's probably not all going to fit into the trailer. I seriously doubt it. Uh, but since it is going to be sold, this, it doesn't really matter. So let's just figure out the best place to sell rye. Uh, it is the malt factory. So it's just up the road from the grain mill that's up here. So that's pretty easy. I'm going to finish the harvest before I head off, though. There we go. Yes, and annoyingly it doesn't quite fit, but yeah, we're going to have to come back this way anyway. So yeah, it's been a good harvest. Very happy with the combine. It's been a nice change. But I am definitely now ready for FS22. FS19 has been incredible. Uh, it's the 22nd it comes out. I don't know if there's going to be any kind of early access for Giants Partners. Uh, there always has been in the past, but I've heard nothing yet. And, uh, well, I, I, even if there was some news, I doubt I'd be able to tell anybody. But, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Either way. I don't know about you, but I always feel the same thing. Uh, whenever there is a new FS that comes out, I always, well, I always like it. But you don't really appreciate how different it is to the previous version until you look back after you've been playing on it for a few months. Uh, if you go back, you think, wow, this is so different. Uh, it, it really is incredible. I think the biggest change was probably between 13 and 15, was it? Or was it between 11 and 13? I can't remember exactly, but there was definitely a big change. Um, an extremely noticeable change. Because if you go all the way back to FS08, that is just so different. The game has evolved so much. Anyway, there we go. Harvest finished. So yeah, we'll do the baling all in one go. Um, we'll do it when we move to the other field. The other field looks ready, but that's the thing with seasons. It always looks ready a day or two before it actually is ready to harvest. It's still ripening. Uh, that's 44% of the combine. No way is that going to fit. Uh, so we'll just leave that there jump into the class tractor and we're going to have to uh, take the van when we've done this load and the next load oh actually maybe I can feed the rye to the ducks or somebody I can't remember I can't remember if the ducks would accept it they've run out of oh they will take rye okay brilliant Right, that sorts that. It saves going all the way back to the malt factory. In fact, the malt factory is going to be 
much easier to get to if I go this way. I should really go over the way bridge. 39 tons. And um, yes, this is where I have to be very careful with the trailer. We're most likely going to have to do it in two tips. Because it's going to hit the roof. That's, I say it's all 15% so far. Uh, seems to be okay. Good. Just about cleared that light. Crikey. Turns out it's in the perfect place. Uh, okay, so 15,405 plus any little bits I had. And I think there might be enough flour now to go and pick up a load. But I might just put the times times 15 once we've cleared it. Okay, I think it was about 4,200 litres. Okay, it wasn't. That must have been before I put some in the other trailer to top it up. Yeah, this is just the right amount to feed the ducks twice. Right, so we're going to have to use the skid steer to get it into there. Since they have absolutely nothing, I do have to prioritise this. Okay. But it'll only take a minute. It's a pretty good bucket we have here. They have water. I remember giving them plenty of water, but they do get through this food really quickly. And the bucket only just fits through the door. It's a big bucket. Wow, it's congested in here. There we go. Enjoy. I will clear the whole pile. I thought there would be enough for two loads. Two, sorry, two full loads of the trough, but yeah, I don't think so. There's always a duck in the way. Well, that should be enough to fill the trough for now, hopefully. Excuse me. Okay, let me just review. Um, okay, maybe there is space then to do everything. Well, that tidies the yard up. Much neater. Well, let's just hope we don't just get left with something in the bucket. Now I've scooped it up, it'd be good to drop the whole load. It's thinning out a bit. Good, okay. So that must be pretty much full, it is. Um, they don't have any wood shavings, but I think we'll be okay. We'll call that done. So let's get that van for the first time in the series. We'll take it over to the mill. Uh, the van will be in our little garage, which I think is in here. If I'm not mistaken. There it is. Ford. Hello, Ben. Uh, right. Yeah, that's a big badge. Yes, yeah, so I think we do have some uh, some good load space in here. I can't see in the back from here, so we'll just have to uh, go into third-person view. Yeah, it looks like good load space. Probably a bit smaller than the gate, but it's definitely faster. Oh, it's looking good. Looking very promising, and that's why I didn't speed up time, because I thought it would be full. Times 15 once we have shifted some. Thank you for producing 
lovely flower. Uh, I know it's only a game, but it's still very satisfying picking up a bag of flour made from our own rye. Okay, it's three. I think this will be enough anyway, actually, but yeah, let's just put the times times 15 briefly so we can get a few bonus ones into the van. Yeah, there's certainly going to be space. There's another one spawned. So I'll keep going with this until we have cleared everything that's available. Looking good. And there's probably one more after this one because it's going to spawn. Just as I shut the doors. Let's just see. Now. Now. <laughs> uh, where is it? There it is. Okay, back to times five. So there'll be more if we want it. We definitely delivered enough. We have a good van load. Very nice. Can we strap? We can. I'll stop the load shifting. And we now have everything required to start baking bread. Firewood, water, delicious tap water, uh, flour, and of course we have uh, the yeast, which I had to buy, which went flying. Um, but yes, that'll make the bread, it'll make the dough rise a bit delicious. And here we are. It doesn't get any fresher than that. Oh yes, and I won't park in the uh, the doorway because it's going to shut the door when I attempt to <laughs> get it out of the van. I'm not going to do that again. I'm, I might actually, I am still too close, blimey. I'm not going to do that again, and then I go and do it. How far do we have to be away from the building? Okay, there we go, that's good. So, pop it on the pallet. I'll just pop an, enough on here so that we have fulfilled the requirement totally. Gonna have to get some out the side door. Much easier to access them. Uh, it's probably gonna be two layers, is it? It always gets laggy when I start moving stuff around. Okay, so I have put some in here. This is just a storage area. I've now got some flour, which I shall put in there. Looks like we have enough for that one. So you can see one bag was enough. We then have the uh, universal yeast. That seems to be full. I, did I already put a pack in there? I'm not too sure. And also the water. We dispensed the uh, the bucket of water last time, so there we go that's all looking very good so now we have everything in the mixer i can now turn it on oh delicious and we are going to start to produce the bread dough which i'm guessing is going to be dispensed somewhere out here and then it'll be time to light the fire but what else do we need nothing nothing good just the bread dough so is this a time thing do we just yes we do we just pass time uh, you can see it's producing the bread dough and then next as you can see we already have the uh, wood chips in there we need to get into here so if we open the oven let's just find the best way of doing this there we go then I need to put my dough into there so as you can see it is automatically loading it as I walk up to it and then from there we'll be able to light the fire and we can bake the dough, well we can make the bread. It's going to be very nice. So it's something that we're going to have to keep re revisiting. I'm just going to switch that off so I can actually see the uh, little circle in the middle of the screen. Makes it much easier to pick stuff up. It looks like one mixing bowl is probably one batch. Is that full? Not quite. Might have lost one there. I did. I lost a piece of dough. Well, not to worry. It is just a test. So we can now hopefully turn it on. Yep, there we go. Close the uh, oven. The baking chamber. And now it bakes. 
So as you can see, the bread is being cooked. I'll just pass this time until we have some bread. And there we go. Right. So if we open it up again, you can see the bread has been baked. Oh, wow, look at that. The hot ashes, all the embers. Lovely. Yeah, so we need to get this bread out of here. So uh, I think it's going to be a bit hot. Oh. <laughs> uh, but yes, there we go. We have the bread. Yeah, I should really be using this. But I don't think you can actually use that. I might be wrong. Looks like it's for decoration. Uh, but yeah, just certainly uh, standing off to the side a bit makes it easier to pick up the bread. What an amazing feeling. No, we've baked this bread from a crop which was just in the middle of the field earlier on. Anyway, it's getting late. What we'll do is we'll bake more bread next time and we're going to take it over to a family. As you can see, they're offering some pretty good prices. Uh, also, actually, the farm shop. Farm shop's pretty good and um, the inn. So, whichever is best at the time. Uh, the villages, though, they are definitely increasing and they do offer substantial amounts. So, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting selling the bread that we have baked. Anyway, as for today, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.